Look at you thinking that you can do what you could never do before in your life. Look at you thinking that you could keep yourself when all you've ever done was delivered yourself to the hands of Satan. But can I tell you what amazes me? Let me tell you what absolutely floors me, what absolutely amazes me. And, and can I tell you who, who amazes me? You people. You people. Not all of you people, but certain, but certain of you people. It amazes me how you can walk out of the room with your glasses on your head looking for them. It amazes me how you can make up your mind to go do something, get up to go do it. And when you get to go do where you're going to go do, you forget why you left to go do whatever it is you went to go do. It amazes me how you can make up your mind that you won't sin and you sin. It amazes me how you determine I'm going to be more patient. And the moment someone calls you while you're busy, you lose patience. It amazes me how it doesn't take much to anger you. It amazes me how easily you're willing to let something slip into your eye gate to watch something you should. It amazes me how easy it is for you to talk about somebody when you know that they're not listening. It amazes me when you make known the desires of your heart that are ungodly. It absolutely amazes me when you not only desire not to cuss somebody out, but you cuss them out anyway. It amazes me when you turn your back on helping somebody. It amazes me when you get into trouble as often as you do. It amazes me when you fall at something that's so easy, easily to avoid. It amazes me when you trip and when you trip and stumble over the same thing that you've been tripping and stumbling over before. It amazes me when you make the same mistake time after time after time. It amazes me when you say I'm going to lose weight and I don't, and even though you know it's for your best health, it amazes me when you say you're going to save money and stop being a stop spending so much and you spend like a drunken sailor. It amazes me when you have no answers to your problems. It amazes me when you're distraught. It amazes me when you're confused. All of those things amaze me that in light of all of those things that I just said, you have the audacity to think that your salvation, though, in spite of all of that, is up to you. That amazes me. Because everything I said happens to every last one of us. It amazes me to know how flawed, messed up, and how untrustworthy we are that we still trust ourselves with the greatest gift that has ever been given to us. It amazes me that we think that highly of ourselves to think that we can keep the most precious thing ever given when we have no good track record whatsoever. That absolutely amazes and floors me. But also, it, it disgusts God. But thankfully, he's not bothered so much so at the fact that he knows you're not that smart. Look at you thinking that you can do what you could never do before in your life. Look at you thinking that you could keep yourself when all you've ever done was delivered yourself to the hands of Satan. Look at you. But thankfully, you have repented, placed your faith in Christ, realizing how bad you are, even though you forget about how bad you are sometimes. Amen. That's the part that just, it, it floors me sometimes when we think about that. It floors me sometimes when we think about that because he says, he says, in his arm, he will gather the lambs in his arms, not you. Yeah, but we can leave his arms. We, we can run away. Uh, pardon me, but did it not just say, did it not just say his mighty arm with his arm ruling his mighty arm? Did it not just say that? Did it not just speak about his power? Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but shut it. Shuddy, shuddy, shuddy. It's the reason why you need a savior. It's the reason why you need a shepherd, because you're a sheep. And ladies and gentlemen, sheepesses aren't very good. What I forgot who, who coined the phrase, we be sheeping, we be sheeping, and he be shepherding. Thank God for that. Thank God for that. Like a shepherd, he will tend his flock in his arms. He will gather the, the lambs and carry them in his bosom. He will gently lead the nurse. He will lead them. No, he won't. He's going to lose them. No, he won't. No, he won't. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and marked off the heavens by the span and calculated the dust of the earth by the measure and weighed the mountains in a balance and the hills in a pair of scales? Who has directed the spirit of the Lord or 
as his counselor has informed him. You ignorant sheep, you and me, I'm included. Who with whom did he consult and with and who gave him understanding? Lord, you don't understand. I know what you're saying, Lord, but you don't understand. I know us and I, I can thank you, Lord, but I got it from here. And who taught him in the path of justice and taught him knowledge and informed him of the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are like a drop from a bucket and are regarded as a speck of dust on the scales. Behold, he lifts up the islands like fine dust. Even Lebanon is not enough to burn, nor is beast enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are regarded by him as less than nothing and meaningless. Remember when I said that we're just, we're just, we're $5 worth of dirt and that's only because of inflation. I may have, I may have oversold our worth. I may have overinflated our value. I'm, I may have overinflated our value. Yeah, it does sound, you know what, TT, you're right. It does sound like Job. It, it actually, this is, this, this is, because it's the same God speaking to us, us, us ignorant, moronic sheep. Who has consulted me as God? Who has, who has come and said, God, let me share something with you. God, let me tell you something that you haven't thought about. God, I bet you didn't know this. God, have you considered who does, no one does that. So yeah, that is, that is like, like with Job. It is absolutely kind of reminiscent of what Job, because it's the same thing. It's the same situation where someone has the audacity to think that they might know a thing or two. 